Welcome to Review Central's English Proficiency Reviewer Drills. This is Episode 1, featuring drill questions on identifying errors. English language proficiency is a typical subtest in many exams including most high school and college admission and scholarship qualifying tests, some professional licensure and certification exams, and even some employment pre-qualifiers. English language proficiency is also a must-to-pass international language proficiency certification exams such as the TOEFL and the IELTS. If you are eyeing or are set to take any of these tests, then this reviewer is intended for you. There are 50 questions featured on this reviewer. All questions are modeled on actual questions that appeared on various English proficiency subtests. Before we proceed, don't forget to subscribe to Review Central and click or press the bell button to make sure you get notified whenever we post a new reviewer or other review materials on this channel. Let's begin. Drill question number one. Choose the underlined word or phrase that makes the sentence grammatically or semantically incorrect. Choose no error if no error is found. Everyone seemed very excited about the party. The underlined words or phrases are A. Seem B. Very excited C. About D. The party The correct answer is A. The erroneous word or phrase is, seem. It should have been, seems. Everyone, is a singular subject that require a singular verb. The correct sentence should read as, Everyone seems very excited about the party. Drill question number two. Choose the underlined word or phrase that makes the sentence grammatically or semantically incorrect. Choose no error if no error is found. The book was more sadder than the movie. The underlined words or phrases are A. Was B. More C. Sadder D. Than The correct answer is B. The erroneous word or phrase is more. It is superfluous or redundant so it should be deleted. The correct sentence should read as The book was sadder than the movie. But wait. There's a bit of a caveat here. Both sad and more sad are actually grammatically correct so some may argue that the erroneous word is sadder instead of more, which is a valid argument. However, In English language proficiency tests, whenever you encounter seemingly more than one possible correct answers, you should always ask the question, which one is more appropriate in formal English mode? In the case of sadder and more sad, you probably want to use sadder in most cases. In formal English sentence construction, one or two syllable words use the suffix er to indicate comparative. Drill question number three. Choose the underlined word or phrase that makes the sentence grammatically or semantically incorrect. Choose no error if no error is found. Double negatives don't have no place in good English. The underlined words or phrases are A. Negatives B. Don't C. Have no place D. N. The correct answer is B. The erroneous word or phrase is, don't. The phrase, don't have no place, is a double negative. It is exactly the kind of thing that the sentence is talking about. In this case, the contraction don't is redundant and unnecessary, so we can simply delete it from the sentence. The correct sentence should read as, double negatives have no place in good English. Drill question number four. Choose the underlined word or phrase that makes the sentence grammatically or semantically incorrect. Choose no error if no error is found. The workers have been asked to use public transportation and to join a carpool. The underlined words or phrases are A. Have been asked B. To use C. And D. To join The correct answer is C. The erroneous word or phrase is, and, it should have been, or. The workers cannot use public transportation and join a carpool at the same time. They must choose only one option so the correct conjunction to use should be or instead of and. 
the correct sentence should read as The workers have been asked to use public transportation or to join a carpool. Drill question number 5. Choose the sentence that is grammatically incorrect. A. When the Roman Republic became an empire in 31 BC, its great power was concentrated in very few hands. B. William wants to show his friends the photos he took last summer. C. The doctor suggested bed rest for the patient who was suffering from a bad flu. D. You can see the distant mountains clear with these binoculars. E. I was terribly disappointed with my grade because I had studied very hard. The correct answer is D. We can infer from the context of the given sentence that the word clear modifies the action verb C, so it should be changed to its adverb form, clearly. The corrected sentence should read. You can see the distant mountains clearly with these binoculars. Drill question number 6. Choose the underlined word or phrase that makes the sentence grammatically or semantically incorrect. Choose no error if no error is found. Unless the issue is handled with great skills, rapidly growing unemployment may lead to social unrest. The underlined words or phrases are A. Unless B. Is handled C. Rapidly growing D. May lead The correct answer is E. There appears to be no error in the given sentence. Drill question number 7. Choose the underlined word or phrase that makes the sentence grammatically or semantically incorrect. Choose no error if no error is found. He flouts his Rolex watch whenever he goes out with us so that we'll think he is very wealthy. The underlined words or phrases are A. Flouts B. Whenever C. Wheel D. Is The correct answer is A. The erroneous word or phrase is Flouts. It should have been, flaunts. The sentence is grammatically correct but semantically incorrect. The correct word to use should be flaunts instead of flouts. Flout means to openly disregard, whereas flaunt means to display, something, ostentatious. Which is what the sentence is trying to say. The correct sentence should read as. He flaunts his Rolex watch whenever he goes out with us so that we'll think he is very wealthy. Drill question number 8. Choose the underlined word or phrase that makes the sentence grammatically or semantically incorrect. Choose no error if no error is found. Having studied your report carefully, I am convinced that neither of your solutions are correct. The underlined words or phrases are A. Having studied B. I am convinced C. Neither D. R. The correct answer is D. The erroneous word or phrase is R. It should have been is. The word neither implies that there are two solutions, but that only one of them is the subject of the sentence. Therefore, the correct form of the verb to conform with the subject should be is instead of R. The correct sentence should read as. Having studied your report carefully, I am convinced that neither of your solutions is correct. Drill question number 9. Choose the underlined word or phrase that makes the sentence grammatically or semantically incorrect. Choose no error if no error is found. I never told no one about our schemes. The underlined words or phrases are A. Never B. Told C. No one. D. About. The correct answer is A. The erroneous word or phrase is, never. The given sentence is an example of a double negative. Never is redundant and unnecessary so it can simply be deleted. The correct sentence should read as. I told no one of our schemes. We have another caveat here. I never told anyone about our schemes is a possible alternative correct sentence, so some may argue that answer choice C, no one, can also be the erroneous word or phrase and therefore, can be the correct answer. That argument is actually valid. However, between the two alternatives, 
I told no one about our schemes, and I never told anyone about our schemes. We submit that the first one is the better and more formal sentence construction. Remember the rule when confronted with more than one possible correct answers? Always go with the more formal construction. But why, in our opinion, is the second alternative less formal? In formal writing, such as in academic writing for instance, we should always try to avoid using words that may be deemed exaggerated, or which imply absoluteness. Words like never, ever, always, and so on. Unless of course, if that is what we really intend to communicate. In our given sentence, I told no one of our schemes correctly and adequately communicate the message and intention of the speaker, without having to use the word never. Drill question number 10. Choose the sentence that does not follow formal American English grammar rules. A. The person who you should be registering your complaint with is the manager, but he is unavailable for the moment. B. You and she ought to return the books to the library because they are already overdue. C. Glenda would have made sure Eric was here if she had known you were coming too. D. The new student has been assigned to work on the group research project with you and me. E. They opened the door and realized that they had been robbed. The correct answer is A. The clause, who you should be registering your complaint with, can be changed to, you should be registering your complaint with him, so the relative subjective pronoun, who, should be changed to the objective relative pronoun, whom. Furthermore, the preposition, for, should be changed to, at, since we are talking about a specific point in time. The corrected sentence should read. The person whom you should be registering your complaint with is the manager, but he is unavailable at the moment. Drill question number 11. Choose the underlined word or phrase that makes the sentence grammatically or semantically incorrect. Choose no error if no error is found. Granting this to be true, what would you imply from the statement that Ferdinand has made? The underlined words or phrases are A. Granting B. To be true C. Imply D. Has made The correct answer is C. The erroneous word or phrase is, imply. It should have been, infer. The sentence is grammatically correct but semantically incorrect. The correct word to use should be infer instead of imply. Imply means to strongly suggest, whereas infer means to deduce or conclude, information, from evidence and reasoning, which is what the sentence is trying to say. The correct sentence should read as, granting this to be true. What would you infer from the statement that Ferdinand has made? Drill question number 12. Choose the underlined word or phrase that makes the sentence grammatically or semantically incorrect. Choose no error if no error is found. A student may study diligently, but without adequate sleep he cannot expect to do well. The underlined words or phrases are a. May study. B. But without. C. He cannot. D. Do well. The correct answer is E. There appears to be no error in the given sentence. Drill question number 13. Choose the underlined word or phrase that makes the sentence grammatically or semantically incorrect. Choose no error if no error is found. Because of the narrow and steep flight of stairs, our neighbors weren't scarcely able to help us move the rest of the furniture out of the house. The underlined words or phrases are A. Steep B. Flight of stairs C. Weren't scarcely D. Rest of the furniture The correct answer is C. The erroneous word or phrase is, weren't scarcely It should have been were scarcely. Scarcely means almost not, so let's try to substitute scarcely with almost not in the given sentence. Because of the narrow and steep flight of stairs, our neighbors weren't almost not able to help us move the rest of the furniture out of the house. It doesn't make sense, right? 
the not in the contraction weren't is redundant with the meaning of scarcely, so we can actually simply drop it. The correct sentence should read as, because of the narrow and steep flight of stairs, our neighbors were scarcely able to help us move the rest of the furniture out of the house. Be warned though, majority of test takers who encounter this question choose rest of the furniture as their answer. But why? Most probably because they think furniture should be pluralized to furnitures, so it must be the erroneous word in the sentence. That of course, is incorrect. Furniture is already plural in sense, so you should not add s to it to pluralize it. It is not only unnecessary, it is in fact, incorrect to do so. Drill question number 14. Choose the underlined word or phrase that makes the sentence grammatically or semantically incorrect. Choose no error if no error is found. Everybody was up early on Sunday because Robinson's Galleria was having its annual sale. The underlined words or phrases are A. Was up B. On C. Because D. It's The correct answer is D. The erroneous word or phrase is, it's, contraction of it is. It should have been, it's, without the apostrophe. It's, with apostrophe, is a contraction of it is, whereas the correct word should have been the possessive pronoun it's, without apostrophe. Drill question number 15. Choose the underlined word or phrase that makes the sentence grammatically or semantically incorrect. Choose no error if no error is found. When archaeologists begin digging, they generally know what they are looking for and where they likely to find it. The underlined words or phrases are A. Begin digging B. Generally C. They are D. They likely The correct answer is D. The erroneous word or phrase is, they likely. It should have been, they are likely. The dependent clause, where they likely to find it, requires a verb to match with the pronoun they. The correct sentence should read as. When archaeologists begin digging, they generally know what they are looking for and where they are likely to find it. Drill question number 16. Choose the underlined word or phrase that makes the sentence grammatically or semantically incorrect. Choose no error if no error is found. The development of alchemy can have traced through various texts, although the authenticity of early books is sometimes in question. The underlined words or phrases are A. Can have traced B. Although C. Is D. Sometimes The correct answer is A. The erroneous word or phrase is, can have traced. It should have been, can be traced. The correct sentence should read as, The development of alchemy can be traced through various texts, although the authenticity of early books is sometimes in question. Drill question number 17. Choose the underlined word or phrase that makes the sentence grammatically or semantically incorrect. Choose no error if no error is found. Almost large parrots nest in decaying trees, and the presence or absence of such trees controls their population. The underlined words or phrases are A. Almost B. Nest C. Such D. Controls The correct answer is A. The erroneous word or phrase is, almost. It should have been, almost all. The correct sentence should read as Almost all large parrots nest in decaying trees, and the presence or absence of such trees controls their population. We have some important notes for you in relation to the given sentence. First, an alternative correct sentence might be. All large parrots nest in decaying trees, and the presence or absence of such trees controls their population. We must caution you, however, in using absolutes like all, none, never, always, and so on. In the case of our given sentence, unless we know for a fact that all parrots nest in decaying trees, using almost all is probably the better option. Besides, we cannot simply disregard the fact that almost is used in the original sentence so it is more likely that it is what the sentence is meant to express. Nevertheless, regardless if you used almost all or all, you would have still correctly identified the erroneous word, so you're good. 
Second, a substantial number of previous test takers who encountered this sentence have chosen Nest as their answer. What might have been their reason for doing so? We can only speculate that perhaps they thought Nest is a noun and that the first clause of the sentence is lacking a verb. Although it is true that Nest is a noun, it can also be a verb, that is, use or build a nest. Lastly, still some other test takers have chosen controls as their answer, possibly thinking that it doesn't match with trees. However, in the second clause the subject is not trees per se, but the presence or absence of such trees which is singular in sense and, therefore, correctly matches with the singular verb controls. Drill question number 18. Choose the underlined word or phrase that makes the sentence grammatically or semantically incorrect. Choose no error if no error is found. Both isotopes of uranium are naturally radioactive, that is, their large, unstable atoms slowly disintegrate into a short period of time. The underlined words or phrases are A. Naturally B. That is C. Large, unstable D. Inter The correct answer is D. The erroneous word or phrase is inter. It should have been over. We can replace into with either over or into make the sentence grammatically correct. Between the two, however, over seems to be the better option, although in may be the more natural and obvious replacement for into. The correct sentence should read as Both isotopes of uranium are naturally radioactive, that is, their large, unstable atoms slowly disintegrate over, or in, a short period of time. Drill question number 19. Choose the underlined word or phrase that makes the sentence grammatically or semantically incorrect. Choose no error if no error is found. During election campaigns, politicians often engage in frequent debates to discuss and argue major issues. The underlined words or phrases are A. Election B. Engage C. Frequent D. Discuss and argue The correct answer is C. The erroneous word or phrase is frequent. Since often is already used, frequent is rendered redundant and can simply be dropped. The correct sentence should read as during election campaigns, politicians often engage in debates to discuss and argue major issues. An alternative might have been to drop often instead of frequent and the sentence would have been still grammatically correct. However, often is not among the underlined words so it is presumed correct and cannot be dropped. Drill question number 20. Choose the underlined word or phrase that makes the sentence grammatically or semantically incorrect. Choose no error if no error is found. Blood cells need cholesterol to thrive, but too much can clog arteries and interrupt the flow of blood to the heart. The underlined words or phrases are A. Blood cell B. Need C. Interrupt D. Flow of blood the given sentence is tricky by design, so let's take a few moments to carefully analyze it. At first glance, the error appears to be about subject-verb disagreement. In fact, it is. The plural verb, need, does not match the singular subject blood cell. So our natural immediate tendency is to correct the plural verb need into its singular form needs. Correct? But wait! In most identifying error questions involving subject-verb disagreements, either the subject or the verb is underlined so it is clear which one is erroneous. However in this case both the subject and the verb are underlined, so we can correct either of them and the sentence should become grammatically correct. Right? Not so fast. In multiple choice questions such as this, unless otherwise specified, we will have to assume that there must only be one, and no more than one correct answer. So which one is the erroneous word or phrase that needs correcting? The erroneous word or phrase is, blood cell. It should have been, blood cells. Therefore, the correct answer is A. But how did we arrive at the decision that it is the subject, blood cell, and not the verb, need, that is erroneous? 
This is actually a perfect example to illustrate that in answering identifying error questions, we should not only limit our analysis into identifying grammatically incorrect sentences. We should also be able to distinguish between what makes sense and what doesn't. Or sometimes it can be just a matter of which one makes better sense. In this particular case, although blood cell needs cholesterol to thrive, is grammatically correct, it is more sensible to say blood cells need cholesterol to thrive. Why? Because the necessity of cholesterol to thrive is true for all blood cells and not just for one specific cell. Understood? The correct sentence should read as Blood cells need cholesterol to thrive, but too much can clog arteries and interrupt the flow of blood to the heart. Drill question number 21. Choose the underlined word or phrase that makes the sentence grammatically or semantically incorrect. Choose no error if no error is found. The quick brown fox jump over the lazy dogs. The underlined words or phrases are a. Quick B. Jump C. Over D. Dogs The correct answer is B. The erroneous word or phrase is jump. It should have been jumps to match the singular noun fox. It can also be jumped, which is in fact the word used in the famous typewriting exercise sentence. The correct sentence should read as the quick brown fox jumps, or jumped, over the lazy dogs. Drill question number 22. Choose the underlined word or phrase that makes the sentence grammatically or semantically incorrect. Choose no error, if no error is found. Each of the stores give 10% discount this season. The underlined words or phrases are A. The stores B. Give C. 10% D. This The correct answer is B. The erroneous word or phrase is give. It should have been gives. This is a classic subject verb disagreement in identifying error tests. The plural verb give should be changed to its singular form, gives, to match the singular subject, each of the stores. The correct sentence should read as Each of the stores gives 10% discount this season. Drill question number 23. Choose the underlined word or phrase that makes the sentence grammatically or semantically incorrect. Choose no error if no error is found. My friend lend me her plaid shirt yesterday. The underlined words or phrases are a. Lend B. Her C. Plaid D. Yesterday The correct answer is A. The erroneous word or phrase is, Lend It should have been, Lent The sentence is in the past tense as signaled by the time marker, yesterday. Therefore, the verb Lend should be changed to its simple past tense form, Lent. The correct sentence should read as My friend lent me her plaid shirt yesterday. This is a very basic identifying error question involving verb tenses, right? Indeed it is. Except that a substantial number of test takers who previously encountered this question chose plaid as the erroneous word. How come? Well, we can only speculate that they are probably unfamiliar with the word and must have thought that it is a misspelling of the word plain. Of course plaid is really an English word. It is a type of clothing or textile design, usually checkered or tartan twilled, and typically made of cotton or wool. By the way, here's another important tip for you when answering identifying error questions, although in very rare occasions they do appear. Misspellings are hardly used in identifying error tests. As a rule, you should assume that there are no misspellings in the given sentences, only grammatically or semantically wrong ones. Misspellings should be the last thing for you to check. Drill question number 24. Choose the underlined word or phrase that makes the sentence grammatically or semantically incorrect. Choose no error if no error is found. After the bell has rang, the children hurriedly went inside the room. 
The underlined words or phrases are A. After B. Has rang C. Hurriedly D. Went inside The correct answer is B. The erroneous word or phrase is, has rang, spelled with an A. It should have been, has rung, spelled with a U. Has rang, spelled with an A, should be replaced with has rung, spelled with a U, which is the correct past participle of the verb to ring. The correct sentence should read as, After the bell has rung, the children hurriedly went inside the room. Drill question number 25. Choose the underlined word or phrase that makes the sentence grammatically or semantically incorrect. Choose no error if no error is found. Every sheet of ruled paper is carefully examined before it is delivered. The underlined words or phrases are A. Every sheet B. Of ruled paper C. Is carefully examined D. Before it is delivered The correct answer is E. There appears to be no error in the given sentence. Drill question number 26. Select the letter that contains an error in grammar usage or word choice. If you think there is none, choose no error. Since the time of Cory Aquino's administration, every senator and congressman have been receiving an allocation amounting to hundreds of millions, which is supposed to fund small-scale infrastructure. The underlined words or phrases are a. Have been receiving B. Amounting to C. Is supposed D. Small scale The correct answer is A. The erroneous word or phrase is, have been receiving. It should have been, has been receiving. The subject of the underlined verb phrase in answer choice A is every senator and congressman, which is considered singular because of the singular adjective, every. The plural verb, have, should be changed to its singular form, has. Our suggested correction. Since the time of Cory Aquino's administration, every senator and congressman has been receiving an allocation amounting to hundreds of millions, which is supposed to fund small-scale infrastructure. Drill question number 27. Choose the sentence that is correctly punctuated. The sentence is as follows. In the 1936 Summer Olympics held in Berlin, African-American athlete Jesse Owens set the world record in the long jump, and then he won four gold medals even though blatant racism was prevalent in the host country at that time. For this item, we are being asked to identify the letter corresponding to the correct, rather than the incorrect sentence. Of course, to single out the correct sentence, we first need to identify and eliminate the incorrect ones, which makes questions like this particularly cumbersome. That it involves punctuations makes it even more challenging. The correctly punctuated sentence is the one in answer choice B. Since two independent clauses are joined in each given sentence, there should be a comma, not a semicolon, before the conjunction AND. Aside from the independent clauses, there is also a dependent clause introduced by the subordinating conjunction even though. Did you see that? Generally, subordinating conjunctions are not accompanied by a comma or semicolon. Drill question number 28. Choose the underlined word or phrase that makes the sentence grammatically or semantically incorrect. Choose no error if no error is found. Through the study of three rings, the houses in which the Onasazi people lived can be accurately dated. The underlined words or phrases are A. Through B. Three rings C. In which D. Dated The correct answer is B. The erroneous word or phrase is three rings. It should have been, tree rings. The given sentence is grammatically correct, however it is semantically incorrect. What does the phrase, through the study of three rings even mean? Which three rings are being referred to? It is simply too ambiguous and nonsensical. 
In fact, what the sentence is referring to are tree rings, the rings that naturally form on the cross-section of tree trunks. Each of these concentric rings are scientifically proven to represent a single year's growth. The correct sentence should read as Through the study of tree rings, the houses in which the Onasazi people lived can accurately be dated. Drill question number 29. Choose the underlined word or phrase that makes the sentence grammatically or semantically incorrect. Choose no error if no error is found. If I was in her situation, I would have asked for an explanation. The underlined words or phrases are A. Was B. Her situation C. Would have D. Asked The correct answer is A. The erroneous word or phrase is Was it should have been, were. The correct sentence should read as. If I were in her situation, I would have asked for an explanation. The given sentence is in subjunctive mode. The subjunctive mode is the verb form used to explore a hypothetical situation or to express a wish, a demand, or a suggestion. Want to learn more about subjunctive mode? Check out Review Central's explainer video on subjunctive mode. You will find the link in the description if and when the explainer is available. Drill question number 30. Choose the underlined word or phrase that makes the sentence grammatically or semantically incorrect. Choose no error if no error is found. Smoking is prohibited in public places, that is, shopping malls and restaurants. The underlined words or phrases are A. Smoking B. Prohibited C. In public. D. That is. The correct answer is D. The erroneous word or phrase is, that is, including the lagging comma. It should have been, such as. The correct sentence should read as. Smoking is prohibited in public places, such as shopping malls and restaurants. Drill question number 31. The sentence below may contain a problem either in grammar, sentence construction, word choice, or punctuation. Choose the best version of the underlined portion. Some people believe that the Philippines would have been an Islamic state if the Spaniards did not colonize the Philippines. The underlined portion is, if the Spaniards did not colonize the Philippines. Your answer choices are, A. If the Spaniards do not colonize the Philippines. B. If the Spaniards did not colonize the Philippines. C. If the Spaniards had not colonized the Philippines. D. If the Spaniards have not colonized the Philippines. E. If the Spaniards would not colonize the Philippines. The correct answer is C. The best version of the underlined portion is. If the Spaniards had not colonized the Philippines. The verb would have been in the main clause indicates that the given is a third conditional sentence, so the verb in the if clause should be in the past perfect tense. Drill question number 32. The answer choices correspond to the underlined word or words in the given sentence. Select the answer that contains an error in grammar usage or word choice. If you think there is none, choose no error. In spite of the Philippines is recognized as a sovereign country, many historians and sociologists believe the country remains under neo-colonial control of the United States of America. The underlined words are A. In spite of B. Is recognized C. Believe D. Under The correct answer is A. In spite of cannot be used before a dependent clause. It should be changed to the subordinating conjunction, although. The correct sentence should read as. Although the Philippines is recognized as a sovereign country, many historians and sociologists believe the country remains under neo-colonial control of the United States of America. Drill question number 33. Choose the underlined word or phrase that makes the sentence grammatically or semantically incorrect. Choose no error if no error is found. Otherwise you refrain from making any noise, you will not be allowed to stay in the room. 
the underlined words or phrases are a. Otherwise b. Refrain from c. Will not be allowed d. In the room The correct answer is a. The erroneous word or phrase is, otherwise. It should have been, unless. Otherwise talks about results while unless talks about conditions. In the given sentence, refraining from making any noise is a condition not a result. The correct sentence should read as. Unless you refrain from making any noise, you will not be allowed to stay in the room. By the way, if we want to use otherwise instead of unless, we will have to rewrite the sentence as. You must refrain from making any noise, otherwise you will not be allowed to stay in the room. Drill question number 34. Choose the underlined word or phrase which is not acceptable in formal written English. Choose no error if there is no error. Some people enjoy reading novels than to write long essays. The underlined words or phrases are A. Some B. Enjoy reading C. Than D. To write The correct answer is D. The erroneous word or phrase is, to write. It should have been, writing. The verbs reading and to write do not follow the parallel construction rule. Parallel construction or structure is the repetition of a chosen grammatical form within a sentence. A parallel construction is created by making each compared or enumerated item, or idea, in a sentence, follow the same grammatical pattern. The sentence with correct parallel construction should read as Some people enjoy reading novels than writing long essays. Drill question number 35. Choose the underlined word or phrase that makes the sentence grammatically or semantically incorrect. Choose no error if no error is found. The abacus is a calculated machine in which numbers are represented by beads strung on rods. The underlined words or phrases are A. Calculated B. In which C. Are represented D. Strung The correct answer is A. The erroneous word or phrase is calculated. It should have been the adjective calculating or possibly calculator to modify the noun machine. The correct sentence should read as the abacus is a calculating machine in which numbers are represented by beads strung on rods. Drill question number 36. Choose the underlined word or phrase that makes the sentence grammatically or semantically incorrect. Choose no error if no error is found. When the distance to any object is known, so the actual dimensions of that object can be determined. The underlined words or phrases are A. Any object B. Is known. C. So. D. Can be determined. The correct answer is C. The erroneous word or phrase is, so. It is superfluous or unnecessary in the sentence so it can be dropped. The correct sentence should read as. When the distance to any object is known, the actual dimensions of that object can be determined. Drill question number 37. Select the underlined word or words that contain an error in grammar usage or word choice. If you think there is none, choose no error. The footages showing the super typhoon and the death and destruction it caused upset me a lot. The underlined words or phrases are A. Footages B. And the C. It caused D. A lot the correct answer is D. The erroneous word or phrase is a lot. A lot, a verb meaning assign or distribute, is sometimes mistakenly used instead of the words a lot. The latter is a pronoun meaning many or a great amount, or an adverb meaning very much or often, which is the correct words to use, based on the context of the given sentence. Drill question number 38. Select the underlined word or words that contain an error in grammar usage or word choice. If you think there is none, choose no error. 
They bursted out laughing as soon as the clown jumped on stage and started his antics. The underlined words or phrases are A. Bursted B. As soon as C. Jumped D. Antics The correct answer is A. The erroneous word or phrase is, bursted. It should have been, burst. The past tense and past participle of burst is also burst. The correct sentence should read as, They burst out laughing as soon as the clown jumped on stage and started his antics. Drill question number 39. The answer choices correspond to the underlined word or words in the given sentence. Select the answer that contains an error in grammar usage or word choice. If you think there is none, choose no error. Based on the Bible, eating pork and aquatic creatures that have no scales or fins are forbidden. The underlined words are A. Based on B. Aquatic creatures C. Have D. Are The correct answer is D. In the given sentence, the subject is not aquatic creatures but the gerund eating. Recall from your basic grammar that a gerund is a form that is derived from a verb but that functions as a noun. The gerund eating requires a singular verb. Therefore, the verb are should be changed to is. The corrected sentence should read as. Based on the Bible, eating pork and aquatic creatures that have no scales or fins is forbidden. Drill question number 40. Which of the following is considered unacceptable under formal academic writing rules? A. The majority of 192 discovered exoplanets found in habitable zones are gaseous, and the other rocky planets, like Mars, do not necessarily equate to habitability. B. According to astronomers, necessary conditions like water, an energy source, etc. do not promise life in a planet found in a star's habitable zone since most of the 192 exoplanets in habitable zones are gaseous and even the other rocky planets are possibly just as good as Mars. C. Exoplanets found in habitable zones around stars are not necessarily habitable since most known planets hovering around habitable zones are gaseous, and even the other rocky planets are possibly uninhabitable. D. It has been clarified that exoplanets in habitable zones, although they possess conditions necessary to sustain life, are not automatically habitable since most of the discovered exoplanets found in habitable zones are gaseous, and the other rocky planets are uninhabitable like Mars. E. Is there life outside Earth? It has been clarified that having conditions necessary to sustain life does not mean that exoplanets in habitable zones are habitable since most of the 192 exoplanets found in habitable zones are gaseous and the other rocky planets are possibly just as barren as Mars. The correct answer is E. The sentence that is considered unacceptable under formal academic writing rules is the one in answer choice E. Said sentence starts with a question, which is strongly not encouraged in formal academic writing. Drill question number 41. Select the underlined word or words that contain an error in grammar usage or word choice. If you think there is none, choose no error. Have either of you solved the puzzle? The underlined words or phrases are A. Have B. Either C. Of you D. Solve the puzzle. The correct answer is A. The erroneous word or phrase is, have. It should have been, has, since the subject, either of you, is singular. The correct sentence should read as, has either of you solved the puzzle? Drill question number 42. Choose the word or phrase that makes the sentence grammatically or semantically incorrect. If you think there is none, choose no error. Either the teacher or his students don't understand the instructions. The underlined words or phrases are A. The teacher B. Or C. His students D. Don't understand The correct answer is E. The sentence does not contain an erroneous word or phrase. The subject verb agreement rule in an either or statement is that the verb should conform to the subject nearest it. In this case, although the teacher is singular, 
the verb don't understand correctly conforms with the second subject, students, which is nearer to it. Drill question number 43. Select the underlined word or words that contain an error in grammar usage or word choice. If you think there is none, choose no error. Nobody in my classes dare to raise questions. The underlined words or phrases are A. In B. My classes C. Dare D. Raise questions The correct answer is C. The erroneous word or phrase is Dare It should have been Dares to conform with the singular subject nobody. The correct sentence should read as Nobody in my classes dares to raise questions. Drill question number 44. The sentence below may contain a problem either in grammar, sentence construction, word choice, or punctuation. Choose the best version of the underlined portion. Tungsten, a chemical element with the symbol W, starts boiling if it reaches the temperature of 5,500 to 6,000 degrees Celsius. The underlined portion is, if it reaches the temperature. Your answer choices are, A, reaches the temperature. B, it will reach the temperature. C, it had reached the temperature. D, it would reach the temperature. E, would have reached the temperature. The correct answer is A. Since the verb in the main clause is in the simple present tense, that is, starts, the verb in the if clause should also be in the simple present tense. Therefore, the given sentence does not contain a problem and the underlined phrase is already the best version of itself. Drill question number 45. The answer choices correspond to the underlined word or words in the given sentence. Select the answer that contains an error in grammar usage or word choice. If you think there is none, choose no error. Taiwan, which is a state in East Asia, lays on the north of the Philippines. The underlined words are A. Which B. In C. Lays D. On The correct answer is C. The verbs lie, past tense, lay, past participle, lain, and lay, past tense, laid, past participle, laid, are often confused with one another. Adding to the confusion is the fact that the other known meaning of lie, that is, to tell an untruth, has a different past tense, which is lied. Lie, as used in the given sentence, means to rest horizontally or settle. It can also be used to refer to a location. Lay, on the other hand, means to put or arrange. Of these two verbs, the first one fits the context of the sentence, so lays should be changed to lies. The corrected sentence should read as Taiwan, which is a state in East Asia, lies on the north of the Philippines. Drill question number 46. Select the underlined word or words that contain an error in grammar usage or word choice. If you think there is none, choose no error. Mumps, which are a dangerous disease, can be prevented through vaccination. The underlined words or phrases are A. Mumps B. Witch C. R. D. A dangerous disease The correct answer is answer choice C. The erroneous word or phrase is R. It should have been is. The subject, mumps, although it is always spelled with an S, is always singular in sense, so it requires a singular verb. The correct sentence should read as Mumps, which is a dangerous disease, can be prevented through vaccination. Drill question number 47. The answer choices correspond to the underlined word or words in the given sentence. Select the answer that contains an error in grammar usage, word choice, or idiom. If you think there is none, choose no error. After the recent The Onion article, Cockroaches had become the subject of a number of mean pages. The underlined words or phrases are A. After the recent B. The onion C. Had become D. A number 
The correct answer is C. The erroneous word or phrases had become. It should have been, have become. The time marker recent suggests that the verb had become should be in the present perfect tense, so it should be changed to have become. The corrected sentence should read as. After the recent The Onion article, cockroaches have become the subject of a number of meme pages. Drill question number 48. The answer choices correspond to the underlined word or words in the given sentence. Select the answer that contains an error in grammar usage, word choice, or idiom. If you think there is none, choose no error. Tolentino originally envisioned the ablation as a concrete statue that depicts a fully naked man, but then UP President Jacobo insisted on adding a fig leaf to cover the genitals. The underlined words or phrases are A. Originally envisioned B. Concrete statue C. Fully naked D. Insisted on The correct answer is C. The erroneous word or phrase is, fully naked, with hyphen. It should have been, fully naked, without hyphen. Since the adverb fully modifies the adjective naked, we don't have to put a hyphen between them. Drill question number 49. The answer choices correspond to the underlined word or words in the given sentence. Select the answer that contains an error in grammar usage, word choice, or idiom. If you think there is none, choose no error. I am quite certain that by the end of this year, my niece would have been a certified public accountant. The underlined words or phrases are A. Quite certain B. By the end of this year C. Would have been D. A certified public accountant the correct answer is C. The erroneous word or phrase is, would have been. It should have been, will have been. The time marker, by the end of this year, suggests that the action will be completed sometime in the future, so would have been should be changed to the future perfect tense will have been. The correct sentence should read as. I am quite certain that by the end of this year, my niece will have been a certified public accountant. Drill question number 50. The answer choices correspond to the underlined word or words in the given sentence. Select the answer that contains an error in grammar usage, word choice, or idiom. If you think there is none, choose no error. Rebecca has set her limit and treats Edward barely as a friend and nothing more. The underlined words or phrases are A. Has set B. Treats C. Barely D. Nothing more. The correct answer is C. The erroneous word or phrase is, barely. It should have been, merely, or only. The context suggests that Rebecca considers Edward only as a friend, and to describe their relationship, we should use the adverb merely, which means only, instead of barely, which means almost not. The correct sentence should read as. Rebecca has set her limit and treats Edward merely as a friend and nothing more. You have just watched episode 1 of Review Central's English Language Proficiency Reviewer Drills, featuring drill questions on identifying errors. By now you should be ready to take on any exam featuring identifying errors in English. The drill questions we featured in this particular episode have been carefully curated, to present to you as many of the typical identifying error questions, that are known to have appeared on exams. If you wish to watch more English Language Proficiency Reviewer Drills, check out our English Language Proficiency Reviewer Drills playlist. Check out also our other Reviewer Drill playlists for other topics. If you haven't done so yet, please don't forget to subscribe to Review Central and click or press the bell button to make sure you get notified whenever we post a new reviewer or other review materials on this channel. Please like if you find this video useful and feel free to share to anyone who may also benefit from it. We wish you all the best on your forthcoming exam.